800 farmers attended the meeting in San Roman, and there was only one item on the agenda, the passing of a resolution to start the crop. These sessions, and we've attended a lot of them recently, are generally drawn out, lasting well into the afternoon. In fact, we've grown rather fond of the tamales handed out for lunch. But sadly, there was none of that on Sunday. Only a short presentation in which BSCFA CEO Oscar Alonso read the resolution, and then a request by BSCFA Chairman Ezekiel Cancino for a vote. Alcen su mano, por favor. And just like that, it was done. Everything as anticipated by the BSCFA's Committee of Management. We just came to, to get an approval for the, from the membership to go ahead and um, sign the agreement with um, BSI. And the, well, um, we came straight to the point, and the Kim Farmers responded as positive as we expected. So um, we don't have nothing else to, to do today. So um, not only that we will inform BSI and try our best to sign as soon as possible tomorrow. As from tomorrow, we'll start to work on the list because um, we have to clear our list from the other members who have already joined other um, um, associations. So we have to clean this list so as we can get clearly um, how much um, Kim Farmers will stay with us and how much is the amount of production that we will be managing. And verifying those lists is important because new associations have signed with ASR BSI including the Progressive Cane Farmers Association, comprised of three branches formerly with the BSCFA. So it's critical that the association conduct a self-analysis to determine exactly where it stands at this point. If we speak about um, Pachacan, what we understand up to now, um, maybe only one or two cane farmers stayed from Pachacan with BSFA. Um, um, Guinea Grass Branch, um, is uh, it's a total of 64,000 um, tons of production. Um, we did the, the, the counting um, on Friday and we saw that um, we have about 50% of that production in BSFA. When we talk about San Esteban, we have uh, up to now about 80,000 tons, a uh, little bit more than 50% of the, uh, the, or the um, total amount. So um, we have 15 branches that they are full um, um, BSFA that, and San Esteban which stayed about 50% and um, Guinea Grass 50%. So in, in, in all we have 17 branches that will still be here on, on BSFA. The next few days will be taken up with logistics and procedures, but there is still a matter of those the Prime Minister dubbed radicals one day and extremists the next. They were not present at the meeting on Sunday but they maintain that the agreement with ASR BSI is not beneficial to farmers. And they also maintain that government collaborated with the multinational giant to break the farmers. So where do these loud voices fit in the association? We don't have no intention to, let's say, to expel them from the BSFA. They are members of the, of the association. They are representing their own, their own Kim Farmers. Um, and in, in the association, we um, work or we accept the, the, the majority voting. So um, I think that if the majority continues to vote in favor of what we are uh, we do, uh, what we are doing, well, the majority wins. And if they have their um, own opinion, well, we still accept them and we respect the, their own opinion. So are farmers happy with the agreement or just happy that the crop will start, no matter what the agreement? We figure it doesn't matter much, at least at this particular moment in time. Well, it's it, what was necessary, okay. Um, the farmers need to start a crop, okay. And sometimes in, a, in any negotiation process, right, you win some, you lose some, right. Um, this is not the, the final thing. Farmers will continue, need to continue to work with BSI. And um, if you need to retreat a bit to advance further in the future, um, I think that is that is something noble. That is something um, um, that that is is natural. So we 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 know. Although there are other members, other associations, uh, we hope that we can work with them together. Everyone can work together for the um, future and the and the prosperity of the industry. An industry that, for the first time in history, will be seeing delivery to the factory by three separate organisations. Mike Rodon for News.